I, I'm really proud of our student leadership in what's happened with it. Seeing kids propose ideas to Amy and I that I would have never thought of, but them being so bold to do it. You know, it's, it's hard to say what I'm, I'm most proud of that I put in place per se, because I couldn't do anything by myself without the team. Um, some things I'm really proud of to see that have evolved. Um, I, I'm really proud of our student leadership in what's happened with it. Seeing kids propose ideas to Amy and I that I would have never thought of, but them being so bold to do it. Um, whether it's during their autonomous block or a new club or a new idea, something to help and serve others. I'm really proud of like how far our service learning has come. Um, our kids, you know, they, we don't have a volunteer requirement to graduate. Our kids do it because they want to. And I, I don't know the statistic now, but I know a few years ago with Andy, Andy Kennedy, he, he told us that 42% of our kids were serving in the community on a sustainable level. It's not, I'm doing volunteer hours here, I'm doing volunteer, it's a sustainable commitment that our kids were making, and that just blew my mind. That was two years ago. <laughs> like, I, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about what it is now, you know, under with Nate Samuelson. And so, um, I think service, service learning, the, the steps that we've taken, um, you know, I think the culture that kids feel open to communicate, these, la these are my last few days, and students have like, been flooding my calendar just to like say, can I just have a moment to talk with you? Uh, and I'm, I, I know, it's crazy. And I, I'm sitting in and I'm like, okay, what, what are you about to ask me about? Like, what are you about to butter me up for? Uh, and they're like, you know, one kid just looked at me, he's like, so I be, could you tell that I lost weight since virtual school? And I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> like, I'm like bracing for like, why are you here? Like, like what's going on? And uh, it's been nice. Uh, and that's funny because I've, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to be too busy to miss out on these last few days. And it's busy. But I don't want to be too busy because uh, the impact that we have on these kids, it's, it's, it's amazing. The culture when you walk down the hallway, kids speaking to each other, kids not bowing. Um, when you look at decisions that are made on panels like Human Rights Week or uh, club leadership, you see that it doesn't matter if you're a senior or a junior. There's still some of that. Right, we, we, have, we have more work to do. But um, when you look at the Human Rights Week panel, uh, as an example that was led by Nate Samuelson this year, there were freshmen on that panel and there were singers. And they all had an equal voice. And I just appreciated that. Um, I can go on and on. Like, you know, there was a theme that we had last year, over the last two years, action over awareness with our clubs. Like everybody wants to raise awareness about what's happening in the world, but we're better than that. Like, what are you gonna do with it? How are you gonna serve others? And so seeing our kids kind of embrace that was evident when I heard them say it on their own. You know how Mr. Poulard always says, action over awareness, uh, or you know how, you know how. And I just, I love that. I love seeing that our kids are internalizing things that move beyond the, the grade, the content in the course, the curriculum, the, the standards, the things that they're not gonna remember 100% 20 years from now but really diving into some things that are more of the soft skills that we value and really um, transferable skills that will help serve them down the road. Yeah, I don't know, I could talk about, there's lots, it's so good. Yeah, this is awesome, it's awesome.